Hey, did you happen to see the most beautiful girl in the world? Tell her I love her. Tell her I need my baby. Whoa. So it was up and down, up and down. It's um it's Thursday. We made it through. We made it through. It's uh it's a cakewalk from here. Tomorrow's Friday. Everybody be in a good mood. And uh, if anyone has listened to our show, we appreciate it. Any feedback? We are nice. We are good. There's uh, no question about that. I have a handle on the situation. Even though it probably at times was chaotic, looked chaotic, uh, because it was. It's like that song, and so it later, so it was, was, you know, waiter brought us his tray and all that. Ah, just, that song hit me during the week. I don't know what day it was. I think it was like Monday or something. Oh, we did get some nice, beautiful donuts. Oh, the donuts. I just, I have a way of picking them out. I just said, give me that one, give me that one, give me that one, give me that one, and the coffee. So, um, yeah, it jacks you up a little bit, it jacks you up, I don't know, it's just, it's nothing like it, and then the, the weather, all that kind of stuff, kind of like felt on uh, vacation, and yes, we were amping up, we're just doing a little bit of comedy, you know, we did, we, we did all right, I mean, even our, our, our cousin stopped by, and I end up, uh, pulling the weeds and all that kind of stuff, but uh, maybe she'll stop by and finish it up. I mean, she's very good, landscaper, gardener, all that kind of stuff. You got to see her garden. It's, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. You know, she knows her stuff. But every time I walk over, I always bump my head on the Boston Farana. I don't know how to say it. Boston Farina or Farana. Uh, whatever that thing is. I remember when I was a kid watching Three's Company. And again, like, you know, I do have uh, a little bit of a handicap with the English language on some things, but this show has helped me out immensely, immensely. I mean, all my vocabulary was, back in the day, was musical songs, like, you know, if I would, like, listen to, like, songs and everything, and if I was having a conversation, I would just throw those words in. A lot of Rod Stewart and Jagger, or whatever, whatever I was listening to back then, I just, you know... I, I, it was the post of the people. You know, whatever. Whatever was going on, like, you know. The 70s vibe. Mixed in with a little bit of 80s, you know. Not too much of a fan of uh, things, you know, that happened in the 90s. Somewhat. But that change. And we, well, we got to adapt. When we see that has happened, there has been a big change. I mean, when you watch... You know, you watch Rachel Meadows and all this kind of stuff. I mean, they're, I mean, like I said, like, they're so good at, you know, picking apart other people's, you know, problems and weaknesses and uh, what they do. But, you know, it has to be a fair thing. I mean, th I think people are seeing that. I mean, from what I seen last night, I mean, you know, the little bit that I seen, I mean, it's over and over. I mean, once I did study it, you know, I filed it, you know, like I did this show. And they say, like, you know, creative minds get up early in the morning, you know, the thinkers, the writers, the dreamers, you know, all that kind of, that kind of thing, the philosophers, you know, the people that are wondering, you know, why does the, the moon, or whatever, the sun rotate, why are there stars, you know, why is the grass green, why is the sky blue, you know, and then Trump during the rally, so our water is crystal clear. Everything, everything is perfect, everything, baby, we're back. And I did talk to a friend, I'm not going to mention his name, but some years ago when I did this show, he was totally, totally against Trump, totally. And much to my surprise, I swear on it, I'm not lying, you know, he was telling me how he had a change of heart, like, you know, he was telling me all these things, <laughs> he was just, and that's why I'm saying on the opener, I said, it's time to take, this, time to take the laid back approach. You know, just watch it. I mean, let people decide. I mean, we're, you know, we're not here. We're, right now with the show, I mean, if we have Morgan, we have Rod, maybe me and Morgan can just kick back and, and wait till Rod comes over and post his stuff. And then we can just, like, I don't know, look at it. And just, I don't know, maybe come up, try to think of something funny to say or not to say or, or sympathy. 
or like you know okay that's so that that's right but what about you know this what about that isn't it better if we uh have impartiality i believe i hope that's the right way i believe so I mean, yes it is impartial means like you're not partial you're not favoring anything or you're not you know you're not you're just it it's fair like to all you're not choosing a particular side of any sort and I think it it is dangerous I mean I often said you know I shouldn't even be in, involved in this kind of stuff involved in any way with politics but it's uh, seems like the biggest thing like right now it's like it's a story it's not even politics no more it's just this story I don't know it's an epic thing you know it's the Martians or like or Mars or people on in Jupiter or or somebody not too far like whoever's above us like maybe they have cameras all on us and they're looking at it and they're just like wow what's going on today like what is going on today so again I wanted it to be short and sweet and a uh, laid-back approach and yes, the stories were all supposed to be a little bit funny and stuff like that. I'm, I'm sort of getting into a bluesy kind of thing. Or, you know, like, I mean, start over again. You know, like Good Times, Jefferson's, there's my cat, Lily. Just, you know, a beginning. Because we just came to an end. And we, you know, we gave it our best. We gave it our, our, you know, we did this show and we were running around doing all this kind of stuff. Again, we maintained, we we held, you know, some interest and all that kind of stuff, which was bizarre. There's a lot of this stuff, you know, looking back, I'm very ashamed of it. Like, some was okay, but a lot, I mean, I could tell what I was doing there, and, um, hey, shit happens, man. You know, we all go through that. Sometimes we wake up, we go, oh, I did that again, oh, I did this, I did that, well, what made me do it? That's what you got to find out. That's once you find out what is causing it, and then you can do something about it, and then you'll have a better day, and we'll have, I don't know, six more days left, or seven, I don't know, 23rd, I'm saying six, because we don't really work too hard on a, on a Sunday. We actually don't even work too hard during the week, like, uh, but, I mean, we do, but we don't. You know, we're just saying it like it is, and we just hope for the best. Goodbye, people. Oh, I wish I knew that song. I mean, it'd be not. I mean, like if I had like the the people from my youth, like come over, and bring some drums, like all of a sudden, like say, say my neighbor. Now, say, like, you, we were into this phenomenal thing, like, you know, we could just make, make things that, because our imagination, you know, actors have imagination. Let I me mean, say my old childhood neighbor opened his door up and had, like, one of those Gibson kind of L, what are they, LPs? Not LPs. See, that's been, that's been that long. Les Pauls. Okay, the Les Pauls. I'm getting mixed up with Global. I don't know if, if, if that, I know when we were a kid, uh, my, my guitar player bought a Global. It looked like a Les Paul. But the one Ace Freely uses. Or I'd say he like pops out and he's like, Wow. And someone comes over to a drum set. And maybe he starts playing that song. You know, maybe I could just, maybe it'll come to me. Because like, it, it's got to hit you. Music's got to hit you. It's hit the soul.